wooden skateboard and marble ledge, marble board, wooden ledge. Get your slide on. What's up guys, my name is Levi, this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding, and today we're doing the nine worst companies to ever make skateboards. Skateboarding is hot, hot, hot. Everyone wants in on the action. We got boards made from everyone like Ikea all the way to Arizona Ice Tea. Everyone wants a piece of this. The thing is, it's always painfully obvious when huge corporations make skateboards to appear youthful and try to fit in with the kiddos. How do you do, fellow kids? What? The thing is, there is a long list of these offenders, but these are by far the top nine worst companies to ever try to make skateboards. And guess what? We see through your little tricks. Let's just start. Ed Hardy. You know your cool uncle? The one that has one tattoo and talks about all the other tattoos that he wants. And then he's got this sparkly shirt that is like all covered in like really cool, super cute dragons. And then he's got pants and then on the pockets, they're like bedazzled. And then he goes and he drinks a lot of beer at during Christmas day, but then he doesn't know how to make friends in the evening time. Um, that's what Ed Hardy is. For instance, the upper class people that wear Ed Hardy in the city that we live in, in Canada, are not allowed in certain bars. They actually have a dress code that says no Ed Hardy because as a generalization, the people who wear Ed Hardy like to start fights. They maybe get a little too handsy with the women in the bar and they guaranteed pee themselves after a few drinks. So no more welcome inside our fun club. All right, all right, all right, all right. After the major huge success of their snowboard line, Ed Hardy went on to tackle the best extreme sport, skateboarding. Ed Hardy teamed up with trash artist, Mr. Brainwash, to create Ed Hardy Scrapeboards. Only tough guys know how to ride the hot rod scrapeboard. They are, they're, they're skateboards that have the, the logo on it. But on the review of them, Mr. Brainwash did say the best skateboards on the market. These graphics were so bad, and Antihero wanted in on some of the action, so they made a joke graphic called Ed Bari. The thing is, with all the money poured into this, the skateboards turned out total absolute dog trash garbage pile, and that is the end of the situation. Next on our list, BMW with the BMW Street Carver. Technically, it's a little bit more of a longboard than it is a skateboard, but we'll lump it in here because BMW, they need more fame. If this is basically something that your chubby old dad and a couple of his uh, Ed Hardy friends would definitely be shrouping in the street carver. Here's the thing, they wanted to make them affordable for you. So they retail at 500 US dollars and the wheels look like they came off of a shopping cart. We think because it's so easy for BMW to make skateboards, we're gonna start seeing anti-hero, zero, and quasi cars out there. All right, we'll see you on the track to race the, these things. Here's the thing guys, stick to cars and we'll stick to the boards. Next up, an offender that's on most of our list for things that suck, Louis Vuitton. These amazing, beautiful works of fart are 3,900 US dollars. That's right, barely more than what you'd pay at your local skateboard shop. But guess what? They're made of maple, but guess how many plies? Probably not seven. Clear grip tape for all your muddy desires, the wheels are plastic, the bearings only have four balls in them, and the bottom, you know how people like super slick? It's super grip, covered in glue. This has got to be the highest markup ever on a skateboard. But clearly, there's some toads out there that bought it because they're sold out on their website. But guess what, quality control called. Unfortunately, I think they're made in China. Next up is the Arizona Ice T skateboards. Unlike our previous offenders, Louis Vuitton, Arizona boards come in at only $44 USD. We like that they know their value. Here's the thing, you can accessorize this board to your liking. Arizona cherry blossom wheels, Arizona cherry blossom grip tape, but hey, if we had to choose, it'd be Arnold Palmer grip all day long. 
Here's one of the things. If you're all about nature and natural stuff, get this. Normal bearings have regular oil and speed cream in them. These bearings use green tea extract to make their ball bearings go around. And then mixed in with the wood and the graphic is little tea leaves. These guys are all natural, baby. One legit thing though is they actually do have a team. That's more than we could say about most of the posers on this list. Next up, Dior Skateboards. I can imagine how their marketing meeting went. I mean, Dime stole their logo from Dior, so Dior goes, what can we take back for them? Let's take their dignity. Let's make some scrapes. Skateboards. Like every farty famous fashion brand, Dior started with an amazing artist, and here's what he came up with. Moving on, we have Spam Skateboards. Let me preface this one with this. If you enjoy Spam, you either A, have no taste buds, two, enjoy the taste of your own vomit, or you're on the road to being a cannibal because you love eating stomach fat and dog farts. I'm really sorry, but Spam is gross. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't like the taste of Spam itself, but if you look at these boards, they're so cute. Imagine there's no socks riding around on the street. They're super cute. But in all honesty, they're better than 99% of this list. Spam, you get a half thumbs to the middle from us. Next up on the Megacorp list, Ikea Skateboards. It seems like everyone on this list had the same idea. Let's pick a no-name fashion designer to make us a scrape. Ikea's website states that surfing and skateboarding has always been close to the heart of US fashion designer, what's his name? Chris Stanley. I want to rip on these boards, but honestly, in the time that we've been doing this video, I forgot what they look like. They were so boring. One thing that is cool is they come with the customary Ikea Allen key. The entire board is put together by hand, written in Swedish on a 12 page booklet. Good luck. Next, we got Ralph Lauren Polo Skateboards. These are selling on StockX for $645. Honestly, when you look at these ones, they got the little bear on them. They're soups cute. You can pump around in them. You can do probably lots of tricks in them. And in the ad, they have indie trucks on them. So we give them a little bit of half star or maybe one star for legitimacy. Honestly, they're not as bad as Dior or Louis Vuitton. Next up, we have one of the biggest high fashion brands, Saint Laurent. And get this, coming in at $8,000 made of pure marble, trucks and wheels and bearings hardware sold separately. But get this, the coolest part of it, when you go to skate them, if you have tree trunks for legs like Weck, you're gonna be able to pop up to a wooden ledge. Cause what this, wooden skateboard marble ledge, marble board, wooden ledge, get your slide on. The cool thing about this one though, is it comes with an NFT of someone giving you the middle finger because you're an idiot for spending $8,000 on the board. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Unfortunately for $8,000, they come with no trucks, no wheels, no bearings. You think at that price tag, they'd be able to throw in some mini logo wheels or some off-brand bearings or something, but nope, gotta get greedy Saint Laurent. If you're over the whole skateboard fad, you guys can also check out their sex toys or their bright red high heel roller skates. These guys will literally do whatever they can to stay relevant. Guys, throw them a bone. $8,000 is chump change. Lastly, collab of the century, H&M and No Fear come together to bring you a scrape. A scrape board. We've mentioned in some of our other videos of how they are famously known for ripping off skateboard brands. You guys might have seen their Thrasher ripoff t-shirts and some other things, but they wanted to do this one right. So they went to the tried and true, people who were there before it all, famous 90s brand, No Fear. Unfortunately for them, they made a couple more than a bunch of whoopsies when they hit retail. One thing you gotta give them credit for is when No Fear couldn't hack it on how to keep the trucks the right way, they went to some amazing people who knew what was up. Walmart, Hobie, and lead-based paint to make some of the safest toys for you, the children, to ride scrapes. We're talking bad wood, terrible trucks, and plastic wheels. So you know you will be doing good tricks at a good time and be a pro skate border. Guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Obviously, we got a ton of fire jokes fired at these huge brands. Let us know below how much you just absolutely hate my guts. But then on top of that, let us know if there's any other major brands we missed because we love a good lol like the next guy when it comes to looking of these beefcake chud turds of a scrapeboard. Okay, they all suck and that's just the way it is. Remember, if you're gonna buy skateboard stuff, make sure you buy it at your local skateboard shop. They will educate you on what's up, they will teach you how to set it up, and they'll make sure that you're riding good stuff and learning the good tricks and you're involved in the culture. Skateboard shops keep skateboarding alive. As always, if you guys love the content that we put out, like, subscribe, and comment. I don't care what you say below. Just be my best friend. Guys, this is Levi Shred Shop connecting you to skateboarding, and you just watched nine of the worst companies to make skateboards. Stay tuned for Comment of the Week. Oh, spicy, a meatball. This is a spicy one. It's from my dog, Jeremy D. He says, I want to get Comment of the Week, but I don't want to say anything spicy because Levi seems really nice. Levi, please help. Thanks. Jeremy D, you're a very kind man. Guys, here's a perfect example on how to be a lover, not a hater. Jeremy D, you DM me and I'll give you my daughter's phone number. All right, see ya.